Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, I have to confess from the get-go that I have a uh, rough evening uh, so far, which means uh, I uh, celebrated with some friends, uh, so uh, I indulged myself uh, with some adult beverages. So, anyway, uh, if I slur some of my uh, words, it's because I'm a little bit tired. Let's put it that way. So, I think this is a very important thing that just occurred. Uh, I uh, stumbled over it. And what is it? It is uh, Carlson uh, Tucker. See, the other way around. Um, in his first appearance after his uh, uh, departure from Fox News. And he had a little video talking about a few things. Now, interestingly enough, I found uh, this article coming from um, Deadline. I don't know what the hell that is, from Yahoo Entertainment. Anyway, it was from, uh, it's from 8.42 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time on April 26, 2023. So let's read a few things out of this article and then let's discuss it. Tucker Carlson speaks out for the first time since Fox News exit. Railing, riling against, and I'm quoting, the people in charge, end quote, of American media. Uh, what's interesting, I would point out that little thing behind Tucker. What is that? <laughs> Guess what that is? All right, go back. <laughs> He's got one like mine. I don't have one like his, okay? Two days after Tucker Carlson was suddenly pink slipped by Fox News, the former cable's host has broken his silence. At the exact time that his long-running FNC show uh, would have aired. And I'm quoting uh, Tucker. The thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. Yes, Tucker, I know and we know. Uh, and I'm uh, quoting again, they're completely irrelevant. Yes, Tucker, but that's the audience they are um, focusing on. That's, that's the audience they're targeting. Yes. He began in a video missive posted online just after 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, Wednesday. So that means that was what? 42 minutes after he started saying that. So, lashing out at so-called, and I'm quoting, liars, and declaring, and I'm quoting, the iron law of the universe, end quote, Carson, who ironically just last week was the host of TV's top rated cable news show and among the most powerful people in television, postulated. Most powerful. That's an illusion, my friends. You're not, if you, someone can fire you like that, you're not the most powerful uh, because they allow you to do what he did. And I'm quoting, our current orthodoxies won't last. The people in charge know this. That's why they're hysterical and aggressive. Thank you. That's what we've been saying. Uh, the less certain on their position, the more aggressive they are and hysterical. And I'm continuing to quote Tucker Carlson. They've given up persuasion. They're resorting to force, end quote. Yes. Yes, because uh, if you remember, my friends, what do I say? The guys with this have the power. You can have all kind of weasel things. If someone shows up with a gun, you're done. If you don't have a gun to counter that, you're, uh, you can't equalize the situation. So, uh, let's move on and see what else he said. Uh, he then offered, and I'm quoting, where can you still find Americans saying true things? Um, uh, there are some, there are some. There aren't many places left, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. Yes, Tucker, it is. And you were, uh, uh, you, you were trying to uh, spread the word in a very uh, mild way, I must say. It was helpful, very helpful, because nobody else in the mainstream mass media dared to do what Tucker did. He was, as I said, a 7 out of 10. So when you want to tell the truth, he's a 10. He was saying things, you know, 
like uh, very mildly. Uh, whereas uh, other people can say it ten, but they will not be in the man's mainstream uh, media. So yes, uh, Tucker, you will be now with us, the rest of us, and there's a big difference. You got the name, and you got the money, and you got the connections. So I hope you put all these three things. I'm not gonna say. Uh, I'm not gonna mention your uh, abilities, which. They are without saying, and I'm happy that you, uh, I would say, he, uh, I don't want to say, but I would say it, he woke up. But I think he, uh, I hope he doesn't stop. I hope he puts everything I said in uh, to work for uh, truth. Not for uh, fighting anybody, but telling the truth. When you tell the truth, that's the most extraordinary weapon. Because you don't have to, you know, you don't have to... How should I put it? Uh, when you lie, you have to create all kind of what ifs. What if they catch me? What if this? What if that? When you tell the truth, you tell the truth. It's like a uh, um, you break the shackles of your uh, of the society. Uh, that's why, for me at least, it hurts. It hurts me when I say a lie. And yes, sometimes I say a lie more lie big lie but it's it hurts me that's why i i can lie but i don't like to do it because it hurts me in the first place and i respect myself and if i respect myself i'm able to respect others if you don't respect yourself you can't respect others so let's move on and see what else this guy says here the problem is imagine i mean this article is not pro tucker carlson obviously and he says here uh when honest, I'm quoting, when honest people say that's true, calmly and without embarrassment, they become powerful, end quote. Carlson went on to proclaim on his Twitter followers. And I'm quoting again, at the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink. They become weaker. That is the iron law of the universe. True things prevail, end quote. Yes, but you are attacked. You are censored you are blocked you are closed i don't have for instance the means we all have to cut things off like you had to cut or he had to cut from he couldn't say well there's a problem there's a problem he would have been fired a long time ago so in a way we should be grateful we had him so so long where he was even in my assessment as a seven because he couldn't go to a 10 he was going slowly 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 i saw the trend but they stopped him before he went further than that so let's see what else he says here well something will prevail eventually in the case of carson well one way or another he ended the video with see you soon well we definitely hope to see you soon and uh not to join us join the truth because we are all stuck to the truth or at least trying to you know to expose as much as we can of the reality so if you get over there and you open your megaphone which i think is going to be much much bigger than all of ours for the reasons i mentioned and th those are just a few he's got more than that so yes we can do this i have to mention here um let's start the, the other way around i will not mention the um haters and uh, people who are still involved in uh, uh being paid to say certain things or enemies of talker or i don't want to co conflate talker with the truth because we are all i think we are all working in trying to open up or show as many angles from reality and Gigi brings something, Mikey brings some things, Emil brings some things, Tommy brings some things, Tucker brings some things and we all bring all this different angle to the truth. So we are employees, I don't know how to call it, supporters and I don't want to say well we are right here, put a, we're the good guys, but we are because the other ones are lying. We know that they know it and if they don't know it that means they're very right there 
So I'm glad uh, that. So I'm going, not going to talk, not going to talk about the that side of the equation. I'm going to talk about people like O'Reilly, Bill O'Reilly. I thought he was an average mediocre guy. All right, mediocre guy who lost because some uh, some other people cut his little little uh, tiny legs. That was, and now he talked about Carson in a very negative way, and I was like, uh, "You can hold hands with uh, Chris Cuomo and others. You're just a weasel. You're part of the problem. The problem is hiding the truth, or at least trying to put in front of us, you know, um, um, cheap blankets." over our sailors. Uh, remember Jim Morrison? Wow, I'm sick of doubt, living in this whatever south. Uh, anyway, uh, that's the Severed Garden. I listen to that song. Uh, that tells you a little bit of what's going on right now. Uh, putting cheap blankets over our sailors or something like that. I can't remember too much. Anyway, so look for that Severed Garden by The Doors where Jim Morrison, Jim Morrison is just uh, reciting some of his poems after his death, after his death, I think he died on what, in December 3rd or uh, December 3rd? Uh, yes, June 3rd, 1970, I think, 70? I can't remember, anyway. Uh, so, um, uh, well, listen to that uh, song done by the three remaining door members, the, the band. And it's a very interesting song with uh, the adagio of uh, whatever his name is, Jesus Christ. Andonini, Ambonini, Ambrosini, Jesus Christ. Andonini, I can't remember. Anyway, you figured it out. Uh, that the adagio by this guy who, he didn't, what's his name? He didn't, uh, uh, he didn't compose that. He went and he got some uh, um, writings from some... Um, Christ, I can't remember. Never, nevertheless, uh, and then he put it together, and there's the adagio. So anyway, my friends, I'm glad that Tucker is. Uh, see you soon. I like that one, and uh, we should all support the truth, and we should all, uh, you know, hold hands and uh, form a little arrow that will have a very thin point. That will, I think, open up the reality. Because I think the clouds of lies are over us. We have to spread it. We have to cut it open. Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth. Albinoni. That's what his name was. <laughs> Adagio. Albinini. I can't remember something like this. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.